All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are uh, gonna do some Black Ops 6 campaign today. We actually just, uh, it just released like uh, several hours ago and yeah, I'm gonna jump straight into it. Um, it was like within the Call of Duty app, so I don't know how that works exactly, but yeah, it like launched a separate window or application or something for the campaign, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, the first mission it looks like is Bishop Takes Rook. It says, can't believe Livingstone's uh, putting me and Harrow together in the field again. Been a while. Wood says, Wood says this Said Alawi must be worth a migraine or three. Uh, it says, intercept Said Alawi's convoy in Kuwait and bring him back alive. And of course, there's like completion rewards and stuff and challenges and stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's jump into it, shall we? Um, obviously, I'm gonna do recruit because I just want to have fun with it the first time. If you guys want to see in harder difficulties, I will. Uh, I'll do definitely check that out. But yeah, uh, let's jump straight into it. Hopefully, the audio isn't too loud. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. An entire class of U.S.-Soviet nuclear missiles is eliminated. Means that the era of nuclear disarmament has begun. We will stay the course and we will succeed. Are you denying that? We have discussed what it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. Kuwait, 1991. Hmm. Lowry is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Lowry has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging it out. Here comes the traffic jam. Let's jump into it. All right, I'm so excited. Got it. Two targets 
I wasn't sure if we needed to shoot him or not, so I was a little bit slow on that one. Got Omni Sprint and stuff too now. So cool. There's someone right here. Oh, there he is. Didn't he not even realize that guy, honestly. Side, it looks like. <laughs> Guess that's him. Stay calm. We're not here to hurt you. CIA? We had a deal. Deal? Not with us. Where you headed? Colorado, you lie. Your man was getting out. Man. Who exactly? Is that us? No, not Iraqi either. Pantheon. Pantheon. Oop. You won't stand a chance against them. They haven't spotted us. Let's keep it that way. Come on. Let me get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was closed. Harrell, did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable. That's made... what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm that... aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and U.S. operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exfil. We call in reinforcements of weight. Wait? What the hell with that? Farage, come in. We're headed your way. No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Hey, let's start by softening them up. Uh, equipment wheel. Okay, equipment swap your carried items to customize your loadout. Press and hold three to open the equipment wheel. Equipment wheel. Then equip lethal, tactical, or support items in their associated slots. All right. Uh, RCXD. Okay. Q and E. At least three to assign. Oh, okay. I see. Let's get to work, guys. He deploy RCXD. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. I think there was, unless I can, can I see them? Show completed, no, maybe not. Anyways, uh, yeah, I thought there was like a special challenge for getting kills with this, but I'm not sure. That's our opening. Let's punch through it. Oh, I, I thought I would have more than one. My bad, my bad. All right, loving the XM4 though, that's for sure. Oh gosh, careful, careful. Got an LMG, okay. Oh yeah, what is our favorite weapon? KSV, all right. Oh, I hope that's not our dude. Oh, another grenade. Careful, buddy. Looks like. I think the guy was prone. I couldn't see him for a second. Um, let's see. There we go. 
You could be leading us into an ambush. It's the only way out. Pick up armor plate. Okay, so you can do armor plates now in campaign, I guess. Barash, Interesting. Barash, come in. Are you sure he'll it's be not there? letting me sprint. You just worry about not slowing us down. It like auto shot one out, I think. Didn't it? Or did I press E? Maybe I pressed E, I don't know. I guess, I, maybe I pressed E. <laughs> My bad. Case. We're right behind you. All right, let's do it, I guess. Good I think we're good. Everyone, all right? Is this your? No, 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 no! Oh, that's Adler. Adler, stand down. This new project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane? You just killed a high value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Halawi can't fall into the Pantheon's hands or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brook. The hell's that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck! Case, you got the launcher? We'll shoot him down. Oh, okay. <clears throat> there, on our six. You can't outrun this! Dang, you really got flares. of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over, Mr. Woods. 
that makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. need to be scars <clears throat> why are we here Harrow because you know something care to tell me what it is you're up to me and the kids just need some time away you know take a little trip reflect a little look I can cover your asses on my end best I can but if things go sideways again you're on your own copy that Oh, you want one? Yeah, try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Three days later. Bishop takes Rook. Oh, achievement unlocked. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group, one receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believe about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason. To stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left the name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savati Dumas, the person Arrival. you need. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Dumas agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to wine and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Let's talk when you have a minute. All right, uh, and this is going to be a kind of like, uh, uh, what does you call it, space of operations sort of that we kind of had in Cold War, I'm assuming, kind of similar to that, I'm, assume, I'm assuming, I guess, right? Uh, but it's really cool looking so far. Uh, the graphics are amazing and super excited to continue. Uh, I just kind of want to explore really fast to make sure I'm not missing anything. There's stuff on the board here and things. Um, I kind of wanted to find any secrets that are in here. 
because uh, in the previous game, Call uh, Black Ops Cold War or whatever, there was secrets. Oh, we can head outside too. That's kind of cool. Look at this place. Pretty fancy. Oh my gosh, can we just like explore a crazy amount of distance? Hold on, let, let me check everything inside first and then I'll maybe check out some outside stuff. Um, but yeah, oh, here we go. Got a backlight, Use, or blacklight. Use the blacklight to reveal hidden messages in the environment for to toggle it on or off. Okay. Oh. Three, what is that, C-N? Looks like Russian. So something is over out that way. Obviously outside. Uh, 2PE. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Not sure what that's all about, but hey yo. Uh, it doesn't look like I can crouch. We got some footsteps. Oh. Hello. Where do these lead? Uh, okay. Can't jump, I don't think. Uh, I don't know. I can't really do anything over there. Maybe it's just uh, ambiance or something. Don't really know. Alright, well anyways. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of fun. Kind of little area to explore. I kind of quite like it, honestly. Use the piano. Oh! Hold up. There's got to be some kind of code here then. Okay, well this one was 2PE and that one's 3CN, although I don't know what that means. Alright, anyways, uh, maybe we'll figure something out with that. Uh, let's go ahead and open that just so it's open. Oh, here we go. Got 5PE. Not sure what those are all about. What else do we have in here? This is probably just the front door, right? Yeah, or at least one of the front doors, I guess. Uh, it's pretty bright in here, so there's probably nothing. Uh, oh, maybe over here, though. We'll see. Just kind of checking everything. We got some, what, some bagels or something? Oh, interesting. Rabbit with horns. That's a little odd, but okay. Um, got like an upstairs area. More of a back room here. Looking for any codes on the wall. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, nothing. I thought it was like lighting up for a second. Um, got like a little seating area here. Interest, interesting, interesting. Is that a door? Yeah, it is, but we can't open it. Um, yeah, I could definitely get lost in a place like this. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Uh, looks like you can check out a bunch of different things. And yeah, you can go out this way too. Wow. So this place is like huge, actually. Uh, I kind of want to explore every little thing, to be honest. There's an upstairs area too. Oh, what's this? I uh, spoke to Alawi again this morning. He's getting jumpy with rumors of an impending coalition strike. Couldn't get much more out of him than uh, this time. He did tease something about Pantheon elites. No re real intel on this yet. Operators, presumably. Something about unorthodox training and advanced field tech, uh, stolen or internally developed. Hussein is interested, but it's really something else he's after. Oops, keep pressing the wrong button to get out. I uh, can open this little balcony, but there's not really anything there. Interesting. Still got my black light on, which is nice. Not seeing much else. Oh, what's this? bedroom or something here. Um, another door there. Let's check what this is first. Oh, hello. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's 
codes for that safe as well. All right. Don't know where the codes are, but that's interesting. It's real dark in here. Uh, are there any codes back this direction? Any codes in here to that safe, possibly? I don't see any. That's too bad. I was kind of hoping so. Alright. Well, we'll figure out what that code is probably in the future. Uh, what else do we have? More doors. There's lots of rooms in this place, that's for sure. That's another door, but it's closed. Looking for any more ciphers on the walls. Especially numbers, particularly. Uh, that's just the other way. Okay. Haven't gone through here yet. Anything on the walls? I guess I should be looking at the floor also. Probably. Just in case there's footsteps or anything. Alright, I'm not seeing anything though, so maybe not. Um, there's some outside stuff, obviously. I don't want to spend too long <laughs> kind of just exploring, because I feel like that's kind of boring for you guys, but I do want to kind of just check everything out if I can. Um, there could be some interesting stuff. I should probably keep my black light on just in case I see something. You never know. Oh, we can sprint, so that's nice. Looks like we can probably clamber then to rain. No? Okay. That's right. What's up this direction? Oh, okay, return to the missionary. So you can't go too far, actually. At least in that direction. Uh, that's fine. How about... Is there anything down here? Nope, nope, nope. That's return to missionary as well. You can definitely check out some of this stuff though. Not that really not that you can really see it, but the black light is on so that we can see anything if things are written somewhere. Maybe you can't go very far actually, I don't know. I thought you could, but I'm not so sure now. With the return to area thing. Some stuff over here. No, it doesn't look like I can go through though. Looks like you can probably do this area though, from what I can tell. We got anything in here? Oh, something over there. What's this? Uh, to do, crack that damn bedroom safe, secure local ammunition source, small batch pur purchases, uh, find contact info for Dumas and Avalon, faction connection, get the furnace going, investigate that piano, get rid of the bats, coming in through elevator gate, looks like shaft to sea cave collapsed years ago. Huh. Uh, there's a sealed bunker beneath the house, where is it, how to access? Ah. Okay. So you can probably do that if you just, um... How far can we go this way then? That's it. Okay. Got it. Alright. Uh, yeah, obviously there's some codes we have to solve, it seems like. I'm not sure how to do that, but we can try to figure it out. I wonder if there's in, they're in missions or if they're actually just in this area. We just haven't fit, found it yet or what. Uh, there's something over here. What's this? Oh, it's a return to missionary. Okay, that's weird. It's like areas that it looks like you can go, but you can't actually, at least not yet. So that's interesting. Anyways, oh, hello. Is that something? No, just a, a lighting glitch or something. Alright. Well, we obviously have to find some codes. Uh, not sure where they are, though. 2PE3CN. I think that's how you read that, at least. Um... Is there anything else in here that I haven't checked? 
any of these walls, maybe. Obviously, we can talk to the boys here in a second. Got some guns up on the wall. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool looking. All right, I think we checked out just about everything we can, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and talk to our boys real fast, and then we can start the mission in the next part, I think. Or is What's this going mission? on, man? Uh, let's, yeah, what, can you, what else can you tell me about the person I'm meeting? Just what we found in Atlas Files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old, came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. Fear she was raised through the guild and then exiled or left, don't know. Whatever it is, Adler was interested, so I am too. Alright. Uh, what about the person in music Munich we're going to meet? You're going to meet. Felix Newman's a former Stasi engineer and enforcer. Dude managed to crack the military branch of Arpanet a few years back, so I'm hoping he's got a sequel in him. Alright. Uh, you dig up anything else, to, else about the Pantheon? So far, we've got nothing but Atlas homework. But he could be out of his mind. Whether he is or whether he isn't, those paramilitaries in Kuwait, they were the real deal. Well-armed, coordinated, and motivated. Hmm. You worried about Harrow's safety? Worried? Jane's smart. Once Lingley knows we've skipped town, she'll make excuses for us as long as possible. Until then, comms are going to put a target on our head, so we'll wait for the time to be right, and then we'll regroup. Am I worried? No. Uh, do you believe Adler is that the Pantheon is connected to Langley somehow? Hell, man, I don't know. Seems hard to believe, but maybe I'm just naive. If Livingston's involved, he could have wanted Adler off the board one way or the other. All right. Uh, Wood seems a bit pissed. The man both loves and hates being told what to do. How do you think Woods is dealing with all this? That's a tough motherfucker in there. Lost his legs in Panama. Lost his best friend. Langley gave him a chance to help run ops, but between me and you, it's not in his blood. Man's a soldier. Killer. His current situation, maybe he feels like he's on the front line again. Now that's all I have. I won't hold you up any longer. You got it. Uh, we should talk, here on Thursday. talk to Woods. Mm -hmm. Save successful. Nice. <sighs> All right. What kind of life savings you got? <laughs> Ooh, I wish. Uh, let's see, nothing. I live day to day. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. That a boy. <laughs> Carpe fucking deal. Well, guess what? If we're really doing this, we've got to get financially creative. What did you have in mind? This place might have been fine for Adler, but for a team. I'm thinking overhaul, an armory, place to train, gear bench, not to mention anything else we might end up needing. There's that won't be free though. Hmm. Uh, how, so how did you and Adley find this place anyway? We were following an old KGB trail and a single recording let us here. Seemed abandoned. When we asked our mole inside the KGB about it, he knew nothing. Belikov thought maybe it was some kind of splinter group. Not sanctioned by the Central Committee. Whatever it was, it doesn't look like a red-stepped foot in here since 1968. Hmm. Uh, can we be sure Adler was here alone? Yeah, I don't think he wanted to get others involved. Looks like he was working on a trust list. As far as I can tell, he didn't contact anyone. That's probably why Adler was talking to Dumas. Keeping it outside of Langley. We're gonna do the same. At least for now. How much money do we have? Marshall found a few grand stashed in one of the rooms upstairs. Other than that, we're starting fresh. No touching our own bank accounts either. Someone will be watching. When you're on a mission, look around for any cash lying around. You're gonna Robin Hood your way through this. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. <laughs> That's me. All right, I've got a run. The board behind me is how we'll track our spending. Give it a look. All right, sounds good. Check and use the evidence board. I do want to check if there's any codes on here that I might be able to use for. Um, can't really zoom in. Use for that thing. There's a lot of numbers that. What is that? 701201. That's probably not anything. There's a bunch of numbers on there, but that could be anything. Or 
maybe that's it. I don't know. Hard to say. There could be codes for that. There could be also codes for the piano. Um, looks like these all say the same thing from what I can tell. But yeah, that might be the thing. There's also this uh, acquisition desk. He said to check this. Um, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and end it here actually though, but we'll go ahead and continue in the next video. Thank you guys for watching so far and I'm looking forward to seeing more of this game. Hope you guys like it and I'll catch you later. All right, peace.